please subscribe this channel now. Revamping an icon is never easy, especially when that icon's history is as storied as the G Pranglers. I'll spare you the details that you, probably, already know. But the all-new 2018 G Prangler Unlimited Sahara, in all of its heated leather seats and Apple CarPlay glory, is the modern-day descendant of the World War II Jeeps that helped roll back totalitarianism in Europe and Asia. Basically, the new 2018 Wrangler has some pretty big shoes to fill. And a lot of boxes to check, too. Codename JL, the new Wrangler replaces the decade-old but beloved JK series Wrangler. Associate Editor Scott Evans did an excellent job digging into all the changes, big and small, made to the 2018 Wrangler in his first look and first drive, so I'll keep things brief. Basically, the Wrangler is new from its axles and frame on up to its three new, still removable, roof options. Jeep's goal for the new 2018 Wrangler is to balance the dueling demands of those who buy Wranglers to adventure off-road and those who buy them to drive around town because they look cool. Of the three versions of the new Wrangler on sale, Sport, Sahara, and Rubicon, none sums this duality up better than the luxury and street-oriented Sahara. With the Wrangler Rubicon expected to capture the hardcore off-roaders and the Wrangler Sport serving as the jack-of-all-trades entry into the lineup, the Wrangler Sahara is aimed mostly at buyers who prefer streets to slick rock. Its standard features and options list reflects that. Standard are four doors, every other Wrangler variant is also available with two doors, street-oriented tires, chrome accents, and body color fender flares that it get pinstriped off-road. The Wrangler Sahara's option list is long, but notable is a Sahara exclusive Select Track full time four wheel drive system, which is ideal for those only using their Jeep's four wheel drive system in inclement weather. Aside from the optional Select Track transfer case, the 2018 Wrangler Sahara shares the rest of its powertrain with its Sport and Rubicon stablemates. Under the hood is a retuned version of the JK Wrangler's 3.6 liter V6 in the Sahara making 285 horsepower and 260 pounds to foot of torque. A 6-speed manual is standard, but our tester is equipped with an optional 8-speed automatic. A new 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 making 268 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque is optional, and a 3.0-liter turbodiesel V6 is expected to join the lineup next year. At the track, the 10 years, and roughly 200 pounds, separating the new Wrangler from the old JK model is readily apparent. Stomp on the accelerator, and the 2018 Wrangler Sahara accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds and goes through the quarter mile in 15.3 seconds at 89.9 miles per hour that's a drastic improvement over the last JK Jeep we tested. A 2016 Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon equipped with a soft top and 5-speed auto. It needed 8.2 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour and 16.3 seconds to get through the quarter at 82.5 miles per hour. The new Jeep stops and turns way better than the old one, too. Its best 60 to 0 mile per hour performance was 128 feet, and it lapped our figure 8 course in a respectable 28.3 seconds at 0.58 grams average. The 2018 Wrangler beats the old one at the pump, too, its EPA rated at 18 slash 23 twentieths of a mile per gallon city slash highway slash combined versus 16 slash 20 eighteenths of a mile per gallon. In our mix testing, we averaged an indicated 19.7 miles per gallon. The performance improvements seen at the track are even more apparent out on the road in the real world. I spent the week leading up to testing the 2018 Wrangler driving around in my mom's two-door auto-equipped 2015 Wrangler Polar Edition, and the difference between JK and JL Wrangler is like the difference between cheeseburger and a ribeye steak. Both are still good, but you'd rather have the ribeye, wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.